Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick little video about troponin, what it is, what it does, and why it's important to look for elevated troponin levels in someone you suspect has had a myocardial infarction. So, troponin is a protein complex composed of three subunits, troponin C, troponin I, and troponin T. And these proteins um, each have their own little function. Now, if you look at this diagram below here, you can see that troponin, this blue bead, is found bound to actin. And you can find troponin in different kinds of muscle cells, cardiac muscle, uh, skeletal muscle, but you won't find it in smooth muscle. So what do each of these little components do? Troponin C, troponin I, and troponin T. Well, troponin C, you can think of it as C for calcium or C for contraction. Calcium is going to bind troponin C and move tropomyosin out of the way so that the myosin head can bind actin and initiate contraction. Next, we have troponin T. Troponin T binds tropomyosin, so it keeps troponin and tropomyosin linked. So when proteins are linked, their actions are linked. So this will allow the troponin to move and maneuver tropomyosin around. Next, we have troponin I. I, you can think of it as interface. So it's, it's what's going to bind everything together, troponin T, C, and the actin filament. So it's kind of like the glue of this complex. Next, if you look down here, we're going to see that all of these blood proteins, CK, LDH, CKMB, myoglobin, which I'll talk about in future videos, are elevated after myocardial infarction. But these two prominent lines, these represent cardiac troponin I and cardiac troponin T. They're, the difference between their baseline values in plasma and the values after MI are really significant. Their half-lives is also longer than any of these other compo plasma components, which are elevated after MI. So often when someone has had a heart attack, um, the doctor will order a blood, blood test, and they will look for elevated troponin I and T, which indicates uh, cardiac infarction. So when heart cells are damaged, they will release these components, troponin I and T, into the bloodstream and you will see elevated levels in the plasma. Alright, I hope this helped and I'll see you guys in the next video.